It's Amy with Mighty, and I'm so excited to walk you through a new feature we've just rolled out with. We have received a lot of requests to have more control and flexibility within Rise's image and text block. So thanks to you all, I'm happy to show you the mod that we've come up with for that block. All right, so we're gonna start out with this beautiful course that was made using Mighty. And I'm gonna scroll down to, here we go an image and text example. I will duplicate it just so I don't lose what we already have and kind of walk you through some of the new mods that we've come up with. So those are obviously available over here under the little Mighty M logo. A lot of times we don't use the caption, so here we obviously have, but in this case you can hide the caption uh, just kind of get that out of the way. Yes, it does disappear in preview mode, but for now it's kind of nice not having if you don't need it. We also have added this image border radius. So in case you wanna just quickly add in nice rounded corners, you can do that within Rise. But for the most part on desktop, we have the ability to adjust the content width. So very similar to what Rise has already rolled out with some of their blocks. We have content width, and we've also given extra large and full width, which I will show you here in just a second. We also have column ratio. So rather than rises, uh, you know, you can adjust the image as 25, 50, 75%. This really allows you now to have more control with the columns. So for instance, we're half and half, three and three, um, I could do two and four, so that's gonna take the what is on the left-hand side, which is the image, and um, the text that's on the right side is now two to four. Same thing, we could adjust it the other way. We now even have the ability to adjust the padding in between the image and text. So this is really nice, especially when we have Let's say we had a really small icon here and we wanted this text to sit close to it. Maybe the icon has a little bit of padding on the outside of the image itself. This allows us to have more control over the columns of text and the column of the image. And if I adjust this back to three to three so you can see, you can now align the text top, bottom, center. So that's really, really nice when you need it. Okay, so now I'm going to show you what it looks like with extra large content width as well as full width. So full width and extra large are new widths outside of what Rise currently offers. And what's great about this full width is you will see two new additional settings that pop up. So what's really cool about this is I could completely get rid of that padding here on the left and actually let me swap this image. I just grabbed something from Unsplash. Um, pretend it's like a product photo that we wanted to add in that kind of bleeds off the side or bleeds off the edge, which it does here. And then if I go back to my settings, I can adjust the padding on the right, which is to the right of this text. So right now it's sitting at small and I can go up to extra large which matches the width, the content width, or we do have more additional like percentages. So if I were to make that 20% and I made the padding in between extra large, it kind of gives you this ability to have like this website feel where you have images coming in on the left hand side, your text on the right, it bleeds off, it, it feels like you have a little more control over it. And then what's also really great about this is, let's say on mobile, 
Actually, let me just adjust everything kind of back to where we were. I'll just do three and three again. So if I preview this on mobile, we can actually um, change the column stacking. So yes, of course, the image is left over right. So on mobile, you would see this image first and then text, but maybe on mobile, you actually want it to be right over left. And then same thing with the image alignment. So you could center it or you could have it left aligned. So I'm gonna keep it centered. And then if you see here, oops, there we go. So you can see that it put that image now on the bottom and it is centering the image as well. Oops, I lost it. There we go. So that's really, really cool. Kind of some custom mobile settings there. And we hope you love it. We also would love to hear any feedback that you have. Um, if you want to, we would love for you to play around with it, give suggestions, ask us any questions, but we really hope that you enjoy it and love it as much as we do.